was 1961 and John F. Kennedy was president. Soviet cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin was the first human in space. The New York Yankees won over Cincinnati 4-1 in the World Series. 19-year-old Cassius Clay won a 10-round unanimous decision over Alonzo Johnson in Louisville. Movies included West Side Story, The Hustler, and Judgment at Nuremberg. The average cost of a new car was $2,850. Barbie gets a boyfriend when the Ken doll is introduced. Barack Obama and George Clooney were born. And Mike Gibson and Louis Dusty Miller added singers to their band, the Blue Angels, and changed the name to the Monarchs. Quickly growing in popularity, the group began playing teen dances. By 1962, the group released their first 45 record, Over the Mountain, backed with Guess Who. The 45 was self-produced and got airplay on local radio. This helped the group to get jobs like opening and backing national acts like Del Shannon. And then Bo Diddley. By 1962, the Monarchs were establishing their sound. September 15, 1962 was the Monarchs' first appearance on the Kentucky State Fair main stage. January of 1963 saw the release of This Old Heart, written by James Brown and backed by Do I Hear From You, written by Louisvillian Chuck Woodring. And there were even more teen dances. This Old Heart went to number three on Wacky's Big Top Ten and number two on WKLO charts. In January of 1964, the Monarchs released Look Homeward Angel, back with What Made You Change Your Mind. Look Homeward Angel would chart across the country, going to number one in many markets and became their signature song. July of 1964, the group would release Climb Every Mountain, back with Take Me Home. Climb Every Mountain would go to number 13 on WKLO and number 19 on WAKY and got airplay on other markets and did minor charting. Sunday, December 6, 1964, the Monarchs would play WKLO's Toys for Tots in the East Wing of the State Fair Exposition Center. December 30th, 1964, the Monarchs would open the show for the Beach Boys, the New Beats, and Jay and the Americans, along with the WAKY DJs. After the show, the Monarchs would play a dance from 10 p.m. to 1 a.m. in the ABC Ballroom at the fairgrounds. In 1965, the Monarchs got two cuts on the 14 by Request Volume 2 LP released on Boss Records. The pressure of children, college, military, money, marriage, home and just adult life was taking a toll on the Monarchs. The music was changing, the English invasion was in full swing so the group took a break from playing. June of 1969 saw the release of That Lucky Old Son back with Shangri-La. 
It was the Monarchs, but the record label said the OGs, the original group. October of 1971, long time coming. Back with Sincerely was released as Fresh Start. In 1972, at the suggestion of Louisville writer Billy Reed, the Monarchs had a reunion party and started performing again. The timing was perfect for the band to reunite, with the release of American Graffiti and American Hot Wax in movie theaters and Happy Days, The Wonder Years, Laverne Shirley and other movies and TV shows featuring the music from the 50s and 60s. 1973 saw the release of the Monarch self-titled LP with the red cover. More dances and shows. The demand for the group's sound was everywhere. Including the 1976 Kentucky State Fair opening the show for Frankie Valley featuring the Four Seasons. In 1977, the Monarchs 2 LP was released, the blue cover. In the 1980s, the Monarchs would frequently appear at Jim Porter's Good Time Emporium. And there were all the great festivals on the Belvedere. There were also TV appearances. In November of 1986, the Monarchs celebrated their 25th anniversary at the Godhouse East. The Monarchs were appearing with more national acts. In August of 1987, they opened for the Righteous Brothers at the State Fair. In August of 1988, the Monarchs returned to the Kentucky State Fair to open for the Everly Brothers. Mayor Jerry Abramson loved his moment on stage to sing with the Monarchs. He gave them the title of Louisville's Musical Ambassadors. In November of 2001, the Monarchs celebrated their 40th anniversary at the God House. The Kentucky Derby Festival was also a busy time for the group. July 4th, 2008, the Monarchs helped WAKY Radio celebrate the station's 50th anniversary at Churchill Downs with the world's largest free picnic. In 2009, the book, The Monarchs, The Great American Rock and Roll Dream, was published by Hall of Fame journalist Billy Reed. August of 2010, the Monarchs were back at the Kentucky State Fair with the Endless Summer Beach Party Show. Turtle Run Winery has become an annual stop for the group, both spring and fall. In 2014, the Monarchs celebrated 50th anniversary of the release of Look Homeward Angel with both a new CD and DVD. Here are just a few of the ways Look Homeward Angel has been released on 45 over the years, not to mention the LPs, tapes, and CDs. I don't think there were any 8-track tapes.
The Jeffersonville River stage is a great venue for the Monarchs. Iroquois Amphitheater has showcased the group for several shows. The Monarchs have become regulars at Derby Dinner Playhouse. In 2021, the Monarchs returned to the Kentucky State Fair main stage. Over the years, the Monarchs have released CDs, including their classics, new recordings, Christmas, and live music. 60 years is a long time. Much has changed. The personnel? The Monarchs claim to have had 27 members over the 60 years. Technology? The Monarchs now have a website, a Facebook page, and Twitter account. Leon Middleton also includes a digital wind instrument with a saxophone. The lighting and sound system have greatly improved. Performance, in addition to being a dance band, they also have a show. Objective was to become superstars and be rich. Now it is to entertain and make people smile. Audience, the Monarchs fans now include multi-generations. Music, the sound of the Monarchs has not changed. The group changes their playlist to keep things fresh, but it's still that old time rock and roll, the music of the 50s and 60s. Through the years, the New York Yankees have changed their lineup, but they've always been the Yankees. Through the years, the Monarch have changed their lineup, but they have always been the Monarchs. It's about the music. The Monarchs, 60 years and still rocking. Is it as simple as, it has a good beat, and you can dance to it? It's been 60 years, and we're all looking forward to 70. I can't imagine I've known these guys for 60 years, and they're still playing. What was the commercial about? Keeps on ticking? keeping on ticket. I can't believe I've known these characters for that many years either. Uh, but 60 years is a nice wingspan for a band. And 60 years and the warranty is still good. <laughs> 60 years, thanks for the memories and I don't have a clue who these people are. <laughs> oh, again. Should've, 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 should've.